the issue on the table. A petition from a Quaker delegation in Philadelphia calling on Congress to end the African slave trade and abolish slavery in all its forms. This petition was written and signed by Benjamin Franklin. It cannot go ignored. If this comes to a vote in Congress, what is the White House's position? Secretary Jefferson, you first. Tread lightly. Sir. The Constitution clearly states that the states have to wait until 1808 to debate on whether to end the slave trade. And whether or not you want it, guys, that is the final compromise we made. Sure, wait. But for a second, let us say that we can legislate unanimous emancipation. Freedom reigns, and yes, it's great. We cannot cure prejudice or righteous desperate hate. So back to Africa, or do they get a separate state? In 1784, I tried to float, banning slavery in the West. My notion didn't get a single vote. Slavery's a sin, it's growing like a cancer. But we can't address a question if we do not have an answer. Is it my turn? Good. Plantation states are packed with promise makers. Do you realize the precious time these legislators wasted? Institutionalizing slavery only multiplies our troubles. Wait till the 1800s and the population doubles. You all know this is a stain on our soul. And democracy, a land of the free. No, it's not. It's hypocrisy to subjugate, to humanize a race. Call them property and say that we are powerless to stop it. Can you not foresee? Sir, even you. You have hundreds of slaves whose descendants will curse our names when we're safe in our graves. How will the South find labor for its businesses? How will Thomas Jefferson find his next mistresses? How dare you? Yet still, people follow like lemmings. All you hemming and hawing while you're he hawing with Sally Hemmings. That's enough. Well, you asked how I feel. I don't pretend to know the answer, but the question is real. If I may, Mr. President. Madison. Let's take this moment to establish a precedent. First of all, sir, we won't involve you in this. Imagine this debate with all of Congress is ruinous. I'll reassure the South, 1808 is still the year that was agreed upon. That buys us time and assuages fear. I'll tell the North that on January 1st of that year, we'll ban importation handling the worst. Once I get all this agreed upon, I'll pick up a pen and introduce a motion never to discuss this again. Mr. President. Hamilton, if we support emancipation, every single slave owner will demand compensation. And as for slandering Jefferson with talk of mistresses, do you really want to really want to have that conversation? No. Madison, execute your plan to the letter. Let's hope the next generation thinks of something better.